Welcome back to Let's Play Yakuza 0, Burning Dog fans. Last time we met a strange man who taught us how to invest in ourselves, literally, in his words. And now we're singing karaoke with Nishiki. Ooh. Oh, God. Uh. Sing along. Tambourine, maracas, clap. I like that it displays the gamepad and keyboard controls at the same time. I am using a gamepad, in case that wasn't clear. Real Yakuza use a gamepad, after all. Oh, God. Okay, uh, start button also views the controls. Noted! Okay. Like the Kappa up in the corner with the uh, CD on top of his uh, head where the water should be. I hope this isn't copyrighted. Shit. Considering I've never done this so far, I think I'm doing okay. Going faster. Ah. Oh, my God. Jesus Christ! Okay. Okay. Considering how fast that thing was moving that I didn't even know there were to be birds where you have to mash it or hold it, I think I did okay. Nice! Not bad for my first time ever. Entertain yourself. I think he takes everything seriously, Nishiki. So <laughs> uh, that was kind of red. I like the ice balls. That's neat. Sorry, Nishimo. Oh, my kiddo, Tatara Hara Hetara. She may need ramen the Moitoka. Mata Kutz Murga. What was on Nani Hara Hetaneo? Ma 
I noticed that Kiryu's dialogue is a subtly different color than uh, Nishiki's, and I don't know why. There's like a, hi a hint of blue to the letters when he speaks. Oop. We're going this way. Oh, what's that? Is it symbol in the... Well, that's a map. Um... No, that was just that. What? Oh, okay, protagonist, Kazuma Kiryu. Member of the Dojima family, part of the Tojo clan, kingpins of eastern Japan's Yakuza. Orphaned young, he was raised at Sunflower Orphanage. Once of age, he swore his oath to, jo to Dojima, who follow in the footsteps of Sunflower patron and Dojima family captain Shintaro Kazama. While lacking in cunning and savvy, his raw masculinity and fighting prowess have earned him notice. You're saying I'm a dumbass who fights well? Can I not? Oh, okay, I have to hit B first. Uh, Akira Nishikiyama. A member of the Do Dojima family, together with Kir uh, Kiryu. Friends and sworn brothers, the two grew up together at the Sunflower Orphanage and joined the Dojima family together. Blessed with cunning wit and the ambition to make use of them in order to climb the family ranks, he shows frustration at Kiryu's lack of drive to do the same. Behind his desire for success is his concern for the well-being of his sickly younger sister. Oh. Shintaro Kazama. Captain of the Tojo clan's Dojima family. The driving force behind the Dojima family's rise to ascendancy within the Tojo clan, Kazama is a Yakuza of unparalleled skill and character. He also founded Sunflower, an orphanage to provide for children like Kiryu and Nishi... Uh, <clears throat> sorry. Nishikiyama. I'm really having trouble with that. With nowhere else to turn. He is presently serving time in prison after a gambling operation under his controls discovered by the police six months ago. About one month remains before his release. Walking slowly. Ooh, very cinematic. Noted. Uh, okay, fine, tips. Press Y while tips are displayed to see more detailed information. After tips have disappeared, you can still view them from the notebook in the pause menu. I figured that part out, thanks. I don't know that I actually have anything right now. Use right stick while exploring to switch to first person perspective. Noted. You will know them, because their speech will appear in red. They are actively looking for someone to brawl with, so when you're not looking for a fight, keep an eye out and be careful not to get too close to them. Fair enough. It's interesting to go from something like Resident Evil 5 to something much slower paced.
So I was just kind of staring off into space and uh, wistfully, but, uh... <laughs> oh, yeah, actually, gonna read this now. Uh, Don Marks. Okay, good. Oh. Noted. Interesting. You can make friends. I just hope it's not as annoying as it was in GTA 4. Friends with benefits. <laughs> I couldn't even say that with a straight face. Uh... Have I... I think they healed me after that first fight. Oops. Uh, where the fuck am I? Uh, there. Yeah, that follows. And alcohol that makes you drunk. Daytime, evening, and night. When you rest at a high day, you can switch to any of these times of day. So it's December 9th, 20, uh, 1988. I wonder if I, uh... If I do this, if I go, go... If I just go into a hideout and just do it over and over again, can I make it, like, January or whatever? Or is it just going to be a video game thing where it's going to be December 9th until the story decides that it's December 10th? I feel like the second one is more likely. Drinking coffee while you're drunk does not actually sober you up. Only all that works is time. But I'm, you know, I can understand they do that in a video game. Oh my god, look at all these fucking things. Fighting, battling powerful foes. Those boss fights, then. So basically, if they do the Batman Arkham City thing, where if you die in a boss fight, they give you uh, tips specifically related to that boss fight. Hmm. Wait, what? Oh, okay. That's actually a really good one to know. I'm sorry if this isn't terribly interesting right now. But this stuff kind of seems important. Blocking, also important. Evasive maneuvers. Uh, evasive maneuvers, Mr. Sulu. <laughs> I don't understand what that means, but okay. <sighs> Sorry. I didn't sleep very well last night. It's not because this is boring, I swear. What's this laws and wrapper say? Don't wait to get started. Not very helpful because I started two videos ago. Okay. There seem to be very specific timing with the rush combos. You can't just mash it. It's like press, 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 press. You have to get the timing right. Which is fair enough, I guess. Oh, just start off with Y, okay. 
Man, this is actually really involved. I have heard a, a few, two ma main things about the Yakuza franchise. One is that the fighting is totally rad, and the other is that the series is super Japanese. Like, perhaps the most Japanese series ever made. How many of these? Okay, uh... You know what? Maybe those can wait. Uh, this is the last one. You're facing. I think I did that by accident in the first fight. I'm not sure. Nice. Okay. Let's, uh... Is that a meta joke, or...? <laughs> There's still a bottle on the screen, and I don't know why. Huh. Huh. その。お互い想像したくねえ姿だった。だな。お、来たな。ちゃんとついてこいよ。There's like seven of these including Yakuza 0, but not including the spin-off with the uh the zombie apocalypse. That's actually a thing that happened at one point. He said he was full, dude. Oh. Oh, shit. Is that the guy I was beating in the alley? No, no, it was 11 last night, they said. お前、夕べの取り立て、相手のこと結構痛めつけたって言ってたよな。こちらが栗原さんの死体が発見された現場です。ここって、は俺が取り立てした場所だ。おう、クラップ。お前、マジか。いや、死ぬまで殴ったわ
おやさんが殺に隠られたのもその why is there a sink there? Sorry, distracted. So maybe this Kuze followed me, beat the guy to death after I left, and set up the whole thing to make Kazama look bad. At what point did I sleep? Yeah, no kidding. I need to save anyway. There's that. Oh, that's right, uh, that page. 49X516417. That's the Dojima family office number. The 49 in front means it's urgent. Well, shit. I gotta call the office. I remember seeing a payphone on Taihei Boulevard. Oh. Oh, it's right there. What's that? Eh. Sega High Tech Land Nakamichi. Op arcade with popular games. Of course it's by Sega. Of course it is! How the fuck wouldn't it be? Oh, that's really helpful. Look at that. Oh, there's two of them. What is Vincent? Oh. It's like, <laughs> I thought it was just going to like, like, we marked this man on the map. <laughs> I'm in trouble. I shouldn't be giggling like a school child. How do I... I can't... This is, it seems to be one of those games where you can't turn the camera through the wall. Which makes it uh, kind of awkward in these cramped corridors. Can I go up here? No. Cannot. That's the one I passed the way in. It's not painted on anymore. But this important call will have to wait. I'm Burning Dog Face, and I'll see you next time on Let's Play Yakuza 0, when uh, Kiryu calls the home office and finds out exactly how much trouble he's in. Later!